Hey Scorpio, welcome to your weekly forecast for November uh, 14th through the 20th. Happy birthday to those Scorpios who are having um, a birthday this week, finishing off Scorpio season. We're going to see what's coming up here in the week ahead or whenever you happen to stumble upon this video because you might see it a year from now, a month from now, a you know, so you're going to see it when you're meant to hear the messages. Keep in mind, it's a general reading for the collective. Therefore, not every single message is going to resonate. And guess what? That's okay. Take what does, leave what doesn't. So without further ado, my dears and my darlings, let's see what's coming up here. For the lovely Scorpio Collective, we're going to move you all just a little bit closer. And the first card coming up here for the Scorpio Collective for the week ahead is the Wheel, Major Arcana. So we know, we know, you guys have heard me say, when the Major Arcana cards come up, they come up because it's a significant uh, defining time in our life. It's a significant uh, turning point here. So it, it, Major Arcana cards are really big energies. They're not going to be wrapped up in seven days. But things are happening in this seven-day period of time that are setting things in motion for you. And the wheel card is very much about cycles, coming into new cycles, uh, coming into a new period, getting unstuck. This is a card I see come up um, after long periods of stagnation or long periods of blockages. I feel for Scorpios, a lot of you have been like in this incubation period where it's not necessarily that you've been blocked, but if maybe things in life have been a little uneventful, right? Or maybe like you've been on some kind of a hiatus or like you know something is coming and you've just been waiting for it to shift forward or move forward. And so the wheel card is coming up like this is it. This is the shift. We're gearing up. We're moving forward. Things are getting going. Things are getting moving. A uh, sense of movement here with this wheel card. Okay. Uh, there could be some kind of catalyst that some of you are experiencing that are setting uh, things into motion for you. Okay, that, that, that are that are getting things moving. So could be something coming in that you're like, oh, let me act on that or oh, okay, well, then I, I guess I'm going in this direction then or oh, okay, well, I, I, I guess it's you know, time to uh, start preparing for this uh, uh, situation that has uh, come up or, you know, like something is happening that's getting you moving or taking steps, not like a tower moment. Not like a death card moment, although it would be really funny if either one of those cards pop up. We'll see. But initially, some kind of a catalyst, something that's getting you moving, something that's getting you going. Okay? Something that can be happening here. Next card coming up for the Scorpio Collective is the Eight of Swords. So the reason why this is happening is, again, some of you have kind of felt uh, like on hold. For some of you, when this wheel card is coming up, you might have negative ego coming up and freaking out. Like, I can't do this. I feel it's a sense of like, this is happening too soon. This is happening too soon. So I'm getting almost a King of Pentacles vibe here from this wheel card and the Eight of Swords. Because for me, in my readings, King of Pentacles is like something good. But we might feel like, oh my gosh, like I'm not ready for it. And King of Pentacles is like, look, you're ready. Like if you weren't ready for it, it wouldn't be here now. So these two cards coming together give me that kind of vibe. A part of you, oh, I can't do it. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not ready. But it's like if you weren't ready, it wouldn't be here now. So I feel whatever this catalyst is, is moving you forward uh, despite yourself, right? Despite yourself. So there could be fear there. There could be insecurity there. There could be self-doubt there. But this wheel card is coming up like, well, we're going to move it along. Got to get the show going. The you know, show must go on. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to go. We're going to go. We're going to go. We're going to go. So I feel there's like an overriding energy here. Like you may be in this mindset, some of you, uh, where you're waiting for something to come in and the wheel is here at the foundation like it's here. It's here, we're moving, we're going. With the Eight of Swords, I do feel a sense of guilt, okay? So some of you could have someone that's making you feel bad about this change in direction. Some of you could have somebody who's making you feel bad about doing this. Like, oh, I just got here and now you're going to go. 
or oh you know after everything i've done you're just gonna forget all about me or you're gonna leave me behind there could be something here where somebody's making you feel like you can't go like they're, they're trying to hold on to you they're trying to hold on to you for some of you <laughs> wow i just got i just got a really interesting visual and i'm not gonna say it because i don't know if it's gonna be triggering uh for some people i think it might be triggering for some people so i'm not gonna say the visual that i saw but i do feel some of you scorpios are dealing with a situation where somebody's coming in and like scooping you up like you didn't even see it coming you didn't even know but not like in a well, well it might be a literal sense in the sense that this is something that could lead to relocation or moving for some of you but when i say scoop you up I feel for some of you Scorpios, somebody has had their eye on you. They've had their eye on you for quite some time. You're unaware of it. You don't realize it. You might even think that, you know, you're not even on their radar. But I feel somebody swooping in and like moving things forward. And so this could be a relationship or a partnership that moves uh, uh, and like accelerates very quickly and could lead to some kind of a contractual agreement, a relocation, a marriage, some kind of partnership, an LLC, I don't know what, but just something very official, and it may progress very quickly, like you didn't even see it coming, like they just came and they scooped you up, like they just came and they're like, I'm claiming that, I'm claiming Scorpio, right, I'm, I'm, I'm not letting that get away. So for some of you, th there's a sense or a feeling of uh, like maybe somebody seeing what you're bringing to the table or seeing what you have to offer. And it's almost as if they're coming out of nowhere and they're, they're, they're jumping on that. Like they're claiming that or they're claiming you. It could be in business. It could be in a romantic relationship. It could be some kind of partnership. But I feel like somebody's coming in and setting things up where like they want to make sure that um like they have you right and this might leave some of you feeling a little vulnerable or a little bit like not not used to this kind of energy um let's see let's see how the reading progresses and what other cards come up next we have here the ten of pentacles stability security legacy um ten of pentacles is breaking out of like that financial um, uh, up and down, <laughs> you know, where like it's like feast or famine energy. When money's good, it's really good. And when it's bad, it's really bad. Ten of Pentacles is a sense of like legacy, a sense of stability, security. Um, money's always going to fluctuate. Even for big companies, money fluctuates. But Ten of Pentacles is like even with that fluctuation, you're good. You're not worried about it because you're solid. You're on good ground. Um, there could also be something here that's coming up for some of you where uh, things are uh, coming into motion or events are coming into motion where there could be something about securing land, buying land, buying property, um, uh, buying a home. I feel some of you might find yourself in a very unique situation where there could be a like a, like a private a, a private seller so there could be someone who's like well i have this house and i don't want to go through like the banks and stuff like they might cut out some kind of a, a a deal with you where it's like you're paying rent but that rent is going towards like the purchasing of of, of the home or of the property um if this is the case i feel like this is somebody that you would know you well or would know one of the uh, inhabitants well. So like, I don't know, maybe this is like um, one of your relatives or one of your spouse's relatives if you're married. Uh, but there could be something here along the lines of like a rent to own situation, which is interesting because I don't think I've ever had that message come up in, in any of the readings that I've done here on YouTube in the last you know, a few years that I've been doing this, but I feel there's some kind of uh, agreement here for some of you where it may be like a rent to own, or it could be a business. It could be like a business thing where there's some kind of like, well, you're investing, but it's going towards 
like ownership or you're working and your work is going towards ownership. So I feel there's something in this Ten of Pentacles around ownership, ownership of something uh, that uh, may be inherited in the future, that you may leave behind in the future uh, as an inheritance to children or uh, to, I don't know, whoever you want to leave an inheritance to. But I feel there's something here in terms of like legacy. Ten of Pentacles is also a card that has a lot to do with manifestation. So you may have a lot of manifestations coming true or materializing for you um, in the next week or so. And I feel if that is the case, it would just be the beginning. It's not like you're going to be manifesting for a week and then it's drying up. I feel like you're <coughs> gearing up into really steady, really solid manifestation here with the ten of pentacles now i'm not doing um love readings but you guys know sometimes messages come in and so um uh i i i don't push them away if, if they come in i share them so with this ten of pentacles i also feel that for some of you there's something that's being uh coming into agreement or like peace coming into a, a home uh, with like a mother-in-law situation. So if you are married and you have been dealing uh, with some challenges with a mother-in-law or like a mother-in-law type energy, uh, I feel with the Ten of Pentacles, there's like there's peace coming in or there's like coming together. There's like a, like understanding, like we're gonna, okay, we're gonna bury this feud. We're gonna bury this grudge. We're gonna get along. We're gonna, you know, come together and, you know, uh, family is the focus here and we're gonna focus on family and we're just gonna, you know, uh, have, have like a, a peace and like an understanding and a working together. For some of you, maybe this has been a block for you in terms of marriage. Maybe you've had bad luck with mother-in-laws or maybe you're scared of a mother-in-law. I don't need, need to be stereotyped, so please don't get offended if you are a mother-in-law. Like, I don't like that you're making us sound like we're bad. I'm not, I'm not, I have friends who have the most amazing mother-in-laws ever. I, I, I have friends who have wonderful relationships with their mother-in-laws. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not married, so I can't see any, I don't have a mother-in-law to talk about, um, so please don't get uh, offended, but I feel here that it might be some kind of peace or there might be, if you are someone who's having challenges with a, with a mother-in-law, there could be something here of like peacefulness. And maybe some of you have had a really bad mother-in-law experience and maybe that's made you really hesitant about marriage, but there could be something here that you're manifesting like where there's going to be peace in the family, there's going to be peace in the home, there's going to be communication. Uh, and like a positive coming together, like a positive, like working together. The next card here is the nine of wands and the nine of wands can be defensiveness. Um, it can be like protecting that which you have worked for, protecting that which you have created. Okay. It's also a card that comes up that tells us that uh, we're nearing completion of a project. This is really bothering me. Hold on uh nearing completion of a project um i feel that this more might be just kind of like you're on guard like with the changes that are happening with the things that are coming in you may be on guard like can i really trust this is this really safe can i really receive this well this is the thing with the wheel here at the foundation it's happening like it's 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 happening there's some kind of catalyst here where you're being pushed forward there's some kind of uh, divine working here that is making this fall into place and that's making this occur. So even if you're hesitant, even if you're trying to push this away, I feel there's some kind of divine energy at work here that's uh, placing you on this journey or, or, or like you're, you're going to have this experience. It's one of your scheduled contracted experiences in your soul's journey and so you still might be a little hesitant like maybe like okay here we go but you might be putting your walls up you might be guarding your heart like i don't want to get disappointed i don't want to get hurt but the nine of wands reminds you that all of the challenges you've had the things that have happened in you that happened in the past 
that have hurt you, have given you experience, have given you wisdom, have given you tools to work with, right? Every single one of these wands belong to somebody who came up to this poor guy and tried to take him out. And he was able to stand up. He was able to uh, survive that battle, win, you know, take that stick away and stick it in the ground behind him as a, as a tool, as a victory trophy, as a, an experience that he's had. And so nine of one says there's absolutely positively nothing new under the sun that anybody can throw at you. And you have experience. So allow yourself to pull on the wisdom that this these experiences have given you. You know how to deal with challenges. You know how to deal with obstacles. You know how to deal with negative ego. Uh, you know what might be better ways to communicate something as opposed to things maybe you did in the past, right? I also feel Scorpio... Don't get mad at me. Don't get upset with me. I too am a Scorpio. I'm not saying anything bad about Scorpio. But I feel here with this nine of wands, there's a sense of like uh, breaking out of patterns of like passive aggressiveness. So maybe in the past in situations, things would happen and you'd get upset and maybe you were a little passive aggressive about it because you had to be that way. Maybe growing up, you weren't allowed to speak up or you weren't really hurt and you had to communicate that frustration in, in, in other ways, right? But I feel here there's something with this nine of wands in this wheel that's breaking out of passive aggressiveness and coming into like more constructive um, uh, like, uh, pre like, uh, like more constructive, beneficial, like, uh, change creating, uh, change for the better, uh, communication, like being able to communicate. So uh, there's something here in terms of like working with others, uh, partnership dynamic, family dynamic. There's a sense of like coming together working with others and and being able to do so peacefully okay and i feel that it's all towards establishing and creating this stability and security you may want to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos some weeks your moon sign or rising sign might resonate more than your sun sign there's a playlist in the description that will take you to the other weekly forecasts uh love readings are also linked in the description and if you want to schedule a private reading with me Link in the description that will take you to the scheduling page. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a fabulous week ahead. Take care and be well, my darlings.